Today, I'm going to be taking a look at the HP Dragonfly Pro. Two things to note. First of all, thank you very much to HP for sponsoring this video. Second of all, Calm Austin has returned. Yes, my friends. The myth is true. The yelling has gone. Let's just sit down. Sit down. We're gonna be calmly taking a look at this, a very high quality laptop from our friends over at Hewlett Packard. Can you say the word laptop? Can you say laptop? Fantastico! I have not physically touched this laptop yet. I've done some research, I know some of the basic core specs, but it's a little bit more exciting to me to actually do an unboxing and to show you the first impressions and to kind of just experience the device for the first time with you. So the better way of doing these than I think consolidating it down to three minutes of bullet points and specs and whatnot. But instead it's like, oh, hey, how is this thing to actually use? What are the advantages and who is this really for? Inside we have the Dragonfly Pro. First and foremost, this is powered by the latest generation of AMD processors, which is actually quite unique. But this is, as far as I'm aware, a device which has been pretty much designed from the ground up to be co-engineered with AMD to take advantage of their latest tech, which for someone who takes a look at a lot of laptops that are typically either powered by Intel or of course things like MacBooks, I'm really curious to see how this is actually going to stack up. The lid is actually quite thick, which um, I'm not entirely sure what that's for. Feels solid, but okay. I would give them props that as a 14 inch laptop, I'm very happy to see upward firing speakers. I just think that if you want a nice audio experience on your laptop, having speakers that fire directly towards you instead of something that fires down or through the back or whatever, that's a win. Um, I also like this finish. It's very sort of matte and the port. Wow, what an interesting port selection. There's uh, three USB-Cs and no headphone jack. Huh. Boy, with a laptop this thick. Would have been nice if they would have fit a headphone jack, huh? Firing up the Dragonfly, this device is targeted at freelancers, it's targeted at people who want to get work done, but don't necessarily need some hugely powerful device. They also sell a Chromebook version of this device. Although I will say that the Chromebook version is powered by an Intel processor, it's a little bit cheaper. This Windows power with the AMD is a little bit more, you know, loaded with everything. Wow, okay, so that's the first thing I'm noticing. That touchpad surface feels terrific. It's super smooth. Wait, is it touchscreen? Touchscreen. Now I know that when designing this laptop, battery life was one of their main focuses. So according to HP, this is the best battery life they've ever offered on one of their 14 inch consumer laptops. Now I think part of the reason they were able to do that is because uh, I haven't opened it up yet, but I'm assuming that there's quite a large battery inside here. Now it is touchscreen of course, but what you're assuming is that slightly lower resolution here is definitely gonna pay dividends when it comes to battery life. And let's be honest, at 14 inches, 1200p is completely fine. It is still a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. So as always, let's pop open Task Manager and see exactly what we've got. So this is outfitted with the Ryzen 7 7736U, which is a Zen 4 based CPU with eight cores. We also have a pretty monstrous 32 gigs of RAM as well as a one terabyte SSD. And this is outfitted with Radeon RDNA 3 graphics. Uh, this is meant as a device that can get productivity done. If this is your device to run your business, this is what they're really designing it for. It's not meant for crushing noobs. It's designed for crushing spreadsheets, emails, a little bit of light video editing. Let's be real. That's what most of us are doing. If you really want a editing laptop or a gaming laptop, there are clearly better choices out there. Also, I still cannot say enough nice things about this trackpad. It is just the surface alone is so, so nice. At this kind of price point, you should accept very, very few compromises. So why don't we actually take a look around the device? One interesting thing they've done, it actually has slightly rounded edges. So if you look all the way in the corner here, they've just knocked off just a few pixels on the side. It's definitely becoming a little bit more of a trend, especially with Windows 11, to have like rounded corners on things. It's more of a modern UI. So let's take a look to see some of the custom features the HP have built in here. Oh my goodness. There's no blowware on this laptop. I'm shocked. And surprised, I guess, I mean, when you're getting a little bit more on the premium price point, that's nice to see, but I'm used to a lot of trials for things I don't want, some specific security software that I always uninstall. <laughs> okay, cool. Wow, that's actually really nice. So there are actually a lot of 
premium features that HP have included. So you actually can see some of this on the keyboard. So you can see that for the most part, this is a full size keyboard, but you have some custom keys over here. So this little uh, triple dot I can set here to do multiple items. So if I wanted to, I could set that to copy paste macro perhaps. What's something I need to do on a regular basis that I want a keyboard shortcut for? I could use this to automatically open up Bing and to copy paste the first chunk of my prompt in there. There we go. Nah, that's neat, that's neat. One of the more unique features of the Dragonfly is a dedicated support button on the keyboard. Tap and hold it for a second and you'll get access to 24 seven support via text or via a call. This is actually really nice because especially if you're a one person show and you're doing everything from your laptop and if something goes wrong, having the ability to instantly get that is a huge win. So it's included for a year with the laptop, although you can pay an additional subscription and you'll also get uh, ongoing support if you do have say hardware issues or you literally just need to talk to somebody. Not just you just need to talk to somebody, we all need to talk to somebody at some point. I'm sure they're very friendly, but they probably prefer if you talk to them about like laptop related things, not just like, I don't know. Therapist button. <laughs> Let's watch a video. Oh, oh my God. Oh my, I just typed the word YouTube into YouTube search. I the Dude, these speakers actually kind of slap. Find available with Amazon as well as Prime shipping. These Bang & Olufsen speakers sound terrific. And also I will say the screen is really nice as well. If you're using this for consumption, whether it's for video or audio or whatever, it's nice. I will say it would also be nice if they had found a way to fit a headphone jack and the laptop, but the next best thing is have some really nice speakers. Let me actually do a little typing test on the keyboard. Woo! I didn't yell, that was just an excitement, an exclamation of glory, 104, 100% accuracy. Um, so yeah, so I will say the keyboard is nice. Um, it's a very sort of um, clicky kind of feel, so it's not like a really deep sort of press, but I think for someone who's gonna be spending a lot of hours typing, especially when you compare it with the touchpad, which it feels incredibly smooth, um, this is a nice place to spend time. I also like the material. If you take a close look, you'll actually see like little speckles in the actual material. It's on the trackpad as well. And it gives that that sort of like kind of feel that it's not gonna get like really scuffed and scratched. Like it feels durable, which I really like. Let's do a quick little check of the webcam. It is Windows Hello Power. Start HP enhanced camera. Hell yeah, I want enhanced camera. Oh look, I'm in a cafe. Wow. How about blur? Yeah, it's pretty neat. One thing I'll give HP props for, it is quite easy to open up the Dragonfly. There's a total of, I count six screws on the backside. I'm not entirely sure if it's gonna be anything uh, user upgradable, but I would just like to take a look to see what's actually inside these devices. Oh, look at that. Wait, is this magnetic? Hold on a second. It's magnetic. Look. Yo! I will say there's probably not a lot that you can actually do underneath here. So we do have the battery, which is 65 watt hours. Uh, we also do have dual cooling fans and uh, that's about it. I don't think there's anything replaceable. Look at the size of those drivers. No wonder it's so loud. That's actually really impressive. This laptop smells delicious. <laughs> so cool. Normally with pretty much any device that I try, I run some extensive benchmarks, but it feels like, well, yes, this does quite well in Cinebench, 3D Mark, and all the usual suspects. I'm gonna actually try to do something inside of Excel. I'm going to multiply every number I can by every other number I can think of, times as many as I can think of, and I'm just gonna just try to break Excel. All right, so we're gonna just extend it out to, I don't know, how about this far as it'll go? How about that many numbers? Can you count? Oh, wow, okay, oh, nope, that was 20,000 numbers. That was, that was fast. Okay, let's put a Ryzen CPU to work. Let's calculate a thou- Oh, there. <laughs> it just calculated 97,000 numbers before I could even finish a sentence. <laughs> With that AMD Ryzen 7 processor, you know that you've got decent graphics, 32 gigs of RAM, and an eight core CPU. But on top of that, you also have the flexibility of USB 4, something that used to be a little bit of a downside on AMD processors, but now you've got the ability to have that full 40 gigabit in and out, and connect it to monitors, hubs, docks, all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, it might not be the world's most exciting looking hardware, but what it is designed to do is to be relatively eco-friendly, but importantly, actually durable. 
right? This thing is meant to last for a extended period of time with some great support and the ability to easily open it up and swap the battery out is a big win. So if you're interested in learning anything else about this HP Dragonfly Pro, definitely be sure to go check it out at the link in the description. And huge thank you to HP for sponsoring this video. Look, if you buy the Dragonfly Pro, you can program that button to open up the Austin Evans channel so you're always kept up to date with the latest and greatest. I'm not saying you should do that because there's probably better uses of that button, but you know what? I mean, I wouldn't blame you for it. YouTube.com slash Austin Evans.